Russians would take years to capture Kharkiv, Ukraine's National Guard chief. The Russians may attempt to conquer Kharkiv, but they will fail because it will cost significant resources and time. Brigadier General Alexander Pivnenko, commander of the National Guard of Ukraine, said this in an interview with Liga media outlet. They can try to conquer Kharkiv, but it won't work. They can only act conventionally, two or three fronts, as distractions, one primary. However, in the case of Kharkiv, this approach will be difficult because attempts to damage essential and civilian infrastructure will persist. They'll have to struggle for years to seize Kharkiv. Consider how long Bakhmut and Avdiivka held. It is easier for the Russians to change the leadership of the Russian Federation and forsake their goals than to conquer the city, resulting in the deaths of thousands more soldiers. Commenting on the new possible summer offensive of the Russians, Pivnenko assured that it will not achieve its goal, Pivnenko said. Russia will not be able to take either Zaporizhia or Kharkiv. Even if they try something in the direction of Kyiv, that's just for show. Although I expect some difficulties. There will be an onslaught. They will try to move forward where they can, he added. Recently, the Financial Times, citing Ukrainian and Western officials, wrote that Russia may be gearing up for a large-scale offensive in late spring or summer, intending to seize more territory in Donetsk, Kherson, Luhansk and Zaporizhia oblasts. In March 2024, the Center for Countering Disinformation at Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council noted that the information about Russian forces preparing to launch an offensive on the city of Kharkiv is part of Russia's propaganda of fear campaign and is not true. On the night of April 24th, there was a drone attack on Smolensk, Voronezh, Korsk, Bryansk and Lipetsk regions of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. As a result of strikes carried out by Ukrainian kamikaze drones, an explosion and fire occurred in two oil refineries in Smolensk region and one in Voronezh region. There are no reports of casualties. Also, an attack was made on the Novolipetsk metallurgical plant in the Lipetsk region. It is reported that the drone was shot down and its remains fell on the territory of the plant. It is said that there are no casualties of the Russian Ministry of Defense said that eight drones were shot down in the territory of the country. Аж слышно, как шумит горит. Бля, на четыре раза бомбануло вообще громко-громко. Железки, что ли, пойти сходить поближе? О, кто-то там по железке, а это железники шарится. 